Oh boy, it's early. Well, good morning, guys. Getting around here. Got a long trip today. Gonna be going to pick up a new tractor. Don't know if it's gonna if I'm gonna end up buying it or not. It's about four hours away, one way, so. Well, I forgot all my fancy equipment, so I'm putting this on my phone. Didn't end up picking it up. Got it for 350 bucks. We are about four hours away from home and about 30 minutes away from Chicago. So <laughs> we're gonna go enjoy some Home Depot and we'll be back. Hey guys, what's going on? I originally filmed this whole scene uh, talking about the tractor, talking about where I got it, how I came across it, but the wind in the video was just too bad, and you couldn't even hardly understand me half the time, and a lot of the time on the spot I ended up stuttering anyway. Uh, I want to go out of my way and thanks Todd. Um, he had listed this tractor I think just a few weeks prior to me picking it up. Um, it made me a good deal on it. I ended up driving almost a little over four hours there, and uh, we made a deal of $350 for the unit, which I thought was more than fair. It does have a few things, it does leak, um, it's an old tractor, can't expect a new tractor, but the workhorse tractors are starting to get harder to get a hold of versus the regular workhorse tractors. As you can see in the video, overall the sheet metal is pretty clean, it's not dented at all. There is a small amount on the top of the hood where you can kind of see where somebody threw the color is different, where somebody has kind of sprayed a different color of paint on it. It is slightly pitted, but besides that I think it will easily be repaired. Uh, this is a GT1800, which means it has the 18 uh, horsepower Brigham Stratton twin engine in it. It's a hydrostatic drive and a hydrostatic lift, which you'll see here when I zoom in on it. Uh, it the thing starts right up, runs excellent. Uh, it does smoke a little bit, but besides that, I can be happier. The deck does need a little bit of work. The tensioner pulley, the bearing is completely shot on that, and of course all the belts are shot. Uh, it kind of had a cool story. The guy who I got this from, it was left at the house that he purchased. Uh, so from what we believe, either the owner prior to him bought it, or even the owner prior to that last person bought it brand new, and it never left that homestead. So kind of a pretty cool story on the tractor. I didn't end up getting a lot of video footage because we've been getting rain, 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 and about five minutes after taking the majority of this footage, it just let loose and I'm going to get any more footage. Um, I have a little bit of driving around, but it's also hard to film, pulling the camera, trying to drive a hydrostatic drive and steer a garden tractor with a front front tire that's low. So pretty difficult, but just wanted to make a quick video showcasing the tractor. I do plan on doing a complete walk around with all my tractors. I got, I think I have uh, one wheel horse now, two workhorses, quite a few cubs, which you can kind of see in the back of this video. I have lots of stuff, and I do have lots of real horse accessories and stuff. Just picked up some hook caps, and one bottom plow, cool stuff like that. So, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. Stick around. I'm always trying to get better at making videos of what I have, because uh, sometimes the information is good to help people. And like I said, stick around and let's see what we have. Thank you. Hey guys, what's going on? want to show you my brand new tractor i originally planned on filming the whole tran transport oh good god 